Justice Athar Minullah of the Supreme Court asked if the provincial assemblies of Khyber Pakhunkhwa in Punjab were dissolved according to the constitution. He passed these remarks as the top court took up a sumora notice to determine who has the constitutional responsibility and authority to announce the date for elections to a provincial assembly after it was dissolved in different situations. A nine-member bench, headed by Chief Justice of Pakistan, Umar Atta Bandial, heard the case. The hearing comes after President Dr. Arif Alvi, on Monday, unilaterally announced 9th April as the election date in both provinces after his invitation for consultations on the matter was turned down by the Election Commission of Pakistan. While addressing a workers' convention in Sargodha, PMLN Senior Vice President Mariam Nawaz came down hard on a cabal of five among which were former and serving members of the judiciary, whom she accused of conspiring against PMLN Supremo Nawaz Sharif. On the PMLN leader's queue, a video screen showed a combo picture of the five people she held responsible. The pictures included ex-ISI Chief Lieutenant General Retired Faiz Hamid, former Chief Justices Asif Khosa and Saqib Nisar, and two sitting Supreme Court judges who are currently part of a top court bench hearing a Sumoto case to determine who has the constitutional responsibility and authority to announce the date for elections in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. She claimed there were some followers of former spy master General Retired Hamid in the judiciary and they needed to be held accountable. A judicial magistrate granted Quetta police 10-day physical remand of Balochistan Communication and Works Minister Sardar Abdul Rahman Ketran, who was arrested a day earlier on charges of killing three persons. Bullet-riddled bodies of a woman and her two sons were found from a well near the minister's residence in Barkhan area late on Monday night. At the time, Khan Mohammad Mari, a citizen, alleged that the bodies were of his wife and two sons. He had also claimed that his wife and sons were being held in Khitran's private jail, adding that five more of his children, including his 13-year-old daughter, were still languishing there. However, confusion persists on the identity of the victims after a coroner on Wednesday found that the female victim, initially identified by the police as Murray's wife, Granaz, who was in her 40s, was an as yet unidentified woman aged around 18. President Dr. Arif Alvi signed the Financial Bill 2023, generally known as the mini-budget, as the government rushed to fulfil the IMF conditions to unlock an economic bailout that the country needs to avoid the risk of default. Under the Article 75-1, the President has no power to reject or object to the Financial Bill, which is considered to be a money bill, as per the Constitution. With the implementation of all major prior actions, Pakistan is eyeing a staff-level agreement with the IMF this week, which will also pave the way for much-awaited credit flows from other bilateral and multilateral lenders. A well-placed source had earlier told Dawn that Pakistan and the IMF will sign the staff-level agreement on 28th February. This will be followed by the IMF Executive Board meeting expected in the first week of March.